it's Laura. Today I'm going to review the Converse Chuck Taylor All Stars 70. This was the first time that I had the 70 shoe. I find the Chuck Taylor 2s the most comfortable ones that I've had to date and they are not making those anymore. So I wanted to try the 70s because I heard that they were really close in terms of the comfort and give that a go. So I have four pairs to review and they're all a little bit different. I have worn all of these. Almost all of them I've worn on a at least a four mile walk in one session. So I can review them in terms of comfort. This was the first pair that I got, which is a animal print variety. I do really like the back uh, license plate that they have for the for the 70s. It's, it's really slick, it's really pretty. The patch is also a slightly bit different. It's a little bit thicker than the normal patch that they have. Um, main differences, well, first off, the sole on the inside here um, can come out and it's um, very comfortable, I will say. And then you can see the inside construction. I think the, the way that they do the upper feels, it feels more stable than some of the older um, models. So I like that. Um, I also like the design of the laces. They aren't purely flat laces. They're slightly ovaline laces. Um, I, I think they look really slick. The sole is I think it feels thicker to me and I, this dimension of this part is also a bit thicker and the way that the it comes up a little bit higher onto the body of the shoe um, is quite nice. I, f I find the 70s very comfortable. They feel like a higher quality shoe. Um, they feel a lot more stable and sturdy. So this is pair number one um, that I tried and again this is the first pair that I got and immediately took him out of the box and went on a four mile hike. And the second pair I got, I got the Gore-Tex shoe. Um, I like, I've had Gore-Tex shoes from them before. I do find them really useful and they, they don't get messed up if you go out in the rain, which is, fantastic. The Gore-Tex shoe has a more rounded lace. Um, yeah, I like it just the same. It, it has kind of a more of an old school feel with the more rounded lace. And then the Gore-Tex patterning just at the top. That's the back and the patch. It also has the detachable insert i won't show you one for everyone but um oh you know i hadn't even looked inside this shoe before wearing it but it it also has in the lining a gore-tex pattern for me this extra stitching detail right here is the easiest way to spot them and the normal one that stitching runs right here and in the Converse 70, it extends out. I think they have included extra layers in the body of the shoe, and this is stitching holds that in place. And it's on both, both sides. So the next pair that I got was a leather pair, and I've never had a leather pair of Converse before, so this was kind of a treat. Now, the leather to me feels really stable, uh, more like a hiking boot because of the stability in the ankle. When I first put them on, I thought, wow, these are really stiff, but I actually liked how they felt. And special treat on the bottom. Cute, cute, cute heart pattern, just adorable. Again, the ovaline laces and also on the tongue is a stitched heart right in the center there. So that's pair number three. There's the back. Oh, 
I, I find these, I find these really comfortable. I love how the leather shoe feels. I definitely will buy more in, in the future because it, it surprised me. I, like I said, I put it on and I was like, oof, it's really stiff, but within like 10 minutes, I, I didn't want to take them off. <laughs> I wore them and wore them and wore them. I came back from my walk and I was like, I'm not taking these things off. They're yeah, super comfortable. Pair number four of the 70s is this pair. Now, I love the styling and detail of this. It's the Flames series, and it's got kind of a chenille um, embroidery on top of the fabric to create that texture and flame pattern. Perfect for a gray-black wardrobe, obviously, which I love. And there's the patch. These are just so freaking cool. And I like the contrast on the back that's white. That uh, really good design, really good design. And they look so sharp. Um, nice big metal eyelets, black laces, and the slightly reflective woven texture of the base shoe is also really nice. I wasn't expecting to like the 70s as much as I do like the twos, but I think in terms of the comfort factor, once I get used to them, I think I probably will prefer these shoes. They do feel a lot more sturdy and substantial than the twos and the regular Chuck series. Um, they might, I mean, for some people, you might have to break them in. They fit really well to my foot. I've got a really close foot size shape to whatever the foot model is so I really don't need to break these in for me they come and I can wear them right away I don't ever get blisters which I guess is one reason why I love wearing Converse so much is that they fit my foot incredibly well and the new styling um, that they're doing and the variety that they have it, it can't be beat this is one darn nice high quality shoe for for the price very impressed with how sturdy they feel and the weight of them is nice uh, feels like the sole is a lot thicker um, they do feel much more cushioned than the original and great support especially with the leather version i think ultimately the chuck taylor 70s will probably edge out the twos as the most comfortable shoe for me and my preferred shoe really impressed with them and super happy i'm glad i decided to jump into the the 70s and give them a go so that's my review i hope you have a great day until next time and thanks for watching appreciate it have a good day